The next step in building piston fit drawers is to fit the drawer sides to the case. I marked them left and right, as you can see, that's what I was checking there. And they move smoothly into place. Uh, they have been sized for height. This is at the, right now we're in October, it's going to be still fairly humid. Not quite as humid as it was in July or August and early September. But, um, so what I've done is keep these drawer sides fairly tightly fitting because uh, in February they'll shrink a little bit and loosen. <clears throat> After these are sized, they have to be cut to identical length. And then the drawer face, which has been squared, flattened. So this has to be perfectly flat. I check it against the granite plate. This can be applied to these drawer sides and checked for squareness in the assembly. So if the case teeter-totters at all, which this one does not because it was squared, any sort of teeter-totter will cause a distortion in the drawer when it's assembled. So uh, the drawer will be out of whack like this and so it won't operate, it will require more clearance. The final preparation that I make involves the drawer back. The drawer back must be sized to the opening, not to the back. The reason why you size it to the opening is that in an ideal case, the case opening itself is going to be slightly wider than the drawer. And so once this passes through the front, like this case does here, this drawer does here, <coughs> The clearance on the sides will then begin to expand, and we're not talking a giant expansion, only a few thousandths of an inch. That's all that's necessary. The drawer will operate nice and smoothly, as you can see here in the finished piece. These drawers operate nice and smoothly with minimal clearance. <clears throat>